so there's kind of two different processes that I have. One, you know, one's definitely more TV, which is extremely fast paced. And then the other is for features, which you have a bit more time on. Um, for features, I get a script. First thing I do is I, you know, break down the characters, character description. You know, it's, it's literally just a list of the characters that appear that I will likely be casting. If it's some of the, one of those projects where I'm casting the three leads and then location casting is doing the rest, then that's easier. But if I'm doing the full thing, then you're literally breaking down everything, age, range, <laughs> um, you know, and they're a little description of them as well. After that, it's making lists you know, for the for the lead roles, just coming up with who would be fun for these roles. It's your list of the namey people, but also of the really great actors who maybe not aren't so namey, but they will get to set and they'll be awesome and it'll be gr a great experience. So that's the first bit with feature with um, feature scripts. With TV, since it's so fast paced, we get the script, do the same thing in terms of breaking it down in terms of the characters. And then it's immediately, let's get a casting concept call or a meeting going where we sit down with the director and the writer and we go through those characters individually and say, okay, is this the right age range? Is there a certain ethnicity you want this character to be? Um, do you want them more character or do you want them prettier? It's, you know, you get those very specific details because there's no time to waste in TV. So we do that meeting and that's also where we find out, oh, you know what, that 40 year old man has actually been changed to a 16 year old girl. You know, it's those things where they tell you what's been written out, what's going to be added in as well. From there, it's you're running and putting out the breakdown as quickly as possible so that you can get your actual audition process going. Um, if there's a bigger role on TV, we'll do the similar thing. We'll, we'll make the list um, of people who we could potentially offer it to, somebody who you know, maybe the writer had in mind when they were writing or the director wants to work with or something like that. We'll do a list for that as well. Um, but for the most part, it's just a quick read, breakdown, and get going. So that's really our two processes. They are absolutely the hardest, okay? We've had actors come in who are, you know, actors that have been around for a long time and they're only reading two lines and it's so hard for them it's so hard to prove yourself and prove that you're right for this role in two lines if you have two pages you've got two pages to get there two lines is over in about five seconds so yes I definitely think that they're extremely hard and I think sometimes people don't give them enough credit for just how hard they are um, in terms of advice take them seriously you know you definitely have to think about them, learn your lines, be off book, but don't take them too seriously. <laughs> don't overthink them. Keep it simple. Half of those roles is based on your look and your general vibe, your voice. Do you actually make sense as that character? So know your line, the, know your line or lines, whatever, however many lines it is. Um, dress the part. Just because it too, is two lines doesn't mean that you should not worry about wardrobe or anything else like that. Definitely be aware of the character and the wardrobe and the world that this character is in. Um, really, I mean, it's so important to be off book for those, you know, to not have your sides in your hand. Sure, you can bring your sides in and look at them, but you've got one line to connect with us. Let us see your face. Okay, don't be, don't have your face on the page. Um, they're hopefully easy enough to memorize, and even one quick glance right before you start your actual audition, whatever is easiest, but definitely make sure that you can put your sides down and you can connect with the people in the room.